The transition of care is crucial to improving the patient experience and the quality and value we deliver in healthcare. I would just use the example of a patient and imagine the patient experience when the physician walks in the room and says, Mrs. Smith, why are you here today? That is wholly unacceptable in 2015. That transition from primary care to specialty must be uh, better orchestrated and our organization feels that the only way to do that is electronically. In order to reach the meaningful use stage two transition of care measure, we realized we had to depend on several specialty organizations. We reached out to two of our largest referring specialty groups. The most difficult part was technology. Many of the specialists did not have the technology to receive those referrals. Fortunately, our electronic health record vendor was, had good foresight into stage two meaningful use and created a provider to provider portal. Referring providers or specialty providers could log into the portal, get the referral information, the care summaries, download that into their system, and, and basically take advantage of that electronic transmission. So being able to log into a, a portal to get their referral information from us served both the purpose of getting the information quickly to the specialty group, but also allowing us to deliver that information electronically from our electronic health record. Central Ohio Primary Care believes that the electronic transmission of a transition of care document provides quality and creates value. We have required our specialists that we refer our patients to to take part in this process. We are able to help our physicians by making the whole identification of our uh, P2P partners, our referring partners, um, easier for the physicians by having in our electronic health record a list of referring providers that were also identified as P2P providers. Obviously we wanted to make sure that everybody is trained appropriately. Uh, the training of that many people all at the same time without interrupting good patient care was a challenge. We had a pretty good educational network set up with our office managers and our physicians. As an example, uh, we communicated the workflow to our uh, staff at the uh, offices. Our office managers would communicate back with us if there are problems with that. Uh, as problems arose or questions arose about the workflow, we were able to uh, create webinars and help sheets that would facilitate the understanding of how to do that workflow better. One of the things that we have done is implemented a physician-only user form within our organization so that the physicians across our entire organization can communicate about any uh, workflow improvements that they have, best practices, questions about issues that they're having, and improvements that they would like to suggest in the application that we use. And it becomes a community that shares their collective knowledge. And we've always felt that that was something that was really, really important, especially now since we are on an electronic health record and are all using the same system. Our electronic health record vendor was very, very instrumental in helping us implement an EHR uh, of the magnitude that we have. One of the things that they did was they brought on trainers, probably about 80 to 90 trainers on site and stayed with us for about a week. Another thing that they did, that they allowed us to have uh, three, uh, what they called EIS, they were uh, enterprise implementation specialists and they lived with us for six months to a year, helping us implement the EHR, learn about the EHR. It was an extraordinarily effective program.